Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, I want to take a closer look at another virtual pinball machine. This is a Sharpen version number 2, or 2.0 I love to call it. But what is so different about this one? They call this the Ultra Edition. And the Ultra Edition is very similar to the first model I've reviewed. But the cabinet itself, they have been changing out a lot of things with this cabinet. And I must say, some things I really like and some things I don't like it at all. But there is a particular reason why he changed out the cabinet itself. I think the main reason is simply because when it comes to monitors that you need to put in a machine like this, it's like there are so many different variations when it comes to monitors. And of course, the stock is changing all the freaking time. And I, he just decided to make a new sharpened cabinet that is more like universal cabinet that we can use with like say, 22 inch, maybe 33 inch, depending on the size of the monitor, but that would be like the typical size that he want to put inside of this machine. The Ultra Edition is the same like the first model, because I'm seeing like the Eternals are the same. And I mean like there are quite some different Android boxes he is using in the last couple of years. But the GT King, it's still one of the best boxes you can get for an Android device. And it has a lot of capabilities when it comes to running apps on, let's say, high definition graphics. But the first thing we need to talk about is the DIY kit. Because this is not a product you can pick up and we'll send it to you. And you can just plug it in your wall and just start playing some video games. Nope. You just need to build it yourself. And so far, I you know, maybe for him it's an option in the future. You can get yourself like a ready to go kit. I was saying like... It has a mixed feeling today with the Sharpen Ultra. And the reason why, the first thing I didn't like is putting the monitor in. I have a lot of issues with it at the moment. It's a minor thing, like it can be fixed in the future by basically drilling some extra holes in a position where you need to mount the bracket. That was like a little bit of an issue with me, so I need to do some extra work. It's not a big of a deal, but I just want to mention it here. But beside that minor issue, I must say, putting it together, it's fairly easy. Uh, with the mounting, the monitor, it can be a little bit tricky because the cabinet is way smaller than the previous model. So it can be a little bit tricky to assemble the monitor. But again, it depends what kind of monitor you're using and how much space you will still have left beneath it. So you can basically like getting your freaking hand in and tighten up the screws for assembling the monitor because you need to slide it left and right you need to position it especially underneath the plexi so it's kind of tricky if of course if you just know how to freaking do it it's easy peasy but it's always like the case i did make a tutorial so i hope that helped out but i've been messing around with this device for a very long time now and the Sharpen Ultra is way better, of course, in different ways. So far, I understand like you're paying like 99 euro when it comes to difference when looking at the Pro Edition. But what you're going to get is quite interesting. First of all, we're going to get a beautiful, way better monitor that looks vibrant, has a view angle that is just perfectly. And not to forget the GT King, the powerful Android box. But yeah, you did hear it correctly. Like this is a basically a TV box or an Android box inside this machine. And the software is exactly the same like your mobile phone. So if you're having an Android phone, you can basically download the same app from the store. There are some pros and cons, but there are also like very positive sides to this. So first of all, my main game where I'm always playing is Zen Pinball. But there are some other apps that work perfectly. So they added an encoder board in combination with a TV box. In this case, we can just play it like, let's say, a virtual permanent machine. It's a quite genius way. And with Zen Pinball, you have so much stuff you can play. Personally, like I play Zen Pinball almost all the freaking time. The downside is that you need to buy every single table with these apps. But okay. At the side we're going to get two buttons, one for the flipper and the other one for the notch. And the quality of the buttons, I must say, they have a long travel, but they are like the higher quality of arcade buttons. Maybe with Senwa you even get a better response. At the front we're going to get four navigation buttons for going up and down with the menus and of course launching the ball. Depending on what kind of game you want to play, because some need the middle one, some need the right one. Already mentioned, like with Zen Pinball, you can also use the navigation button. So basically, you don't need the remote every single time. And yep, you're going to need the remote. But he did a completely overhaul with this cabinet. First of all, side stickers are different. The size of the pinball machine is smaller, compact. I think it is more convenient than the other one. And of course, we're going to get a plexi bezel. 
I think it's pretty cool and gives like an extra nice quality touch to it. So at the side we're going to get the two plastic strips like the first model. They are quite comfortable. They still have a very sharp edge over here. So some people didn't notice like with the previous model they didn't like it. It would be great if you can have some different options in the future like metal ones or ones that are more comfortable. But overall when you're looking at the display itself it got a super good viewing angle. And combined with this plexi, I mean, I like it. It looks very nice. I first personally managed to get the monitor close to the bezel because that was my personal issue I had back in the day when putting this thing together. But it looks very nice. And even when I show you this, like you can see even that the view angles are very good. And that is with the Ultra. Okay, so the remote. That is what I want to talk, to, <laughs> talk about with you guys. So the remote comes with the B-Link King, but you're going to need it when navigating through some menus. Like you can use it with Zen Pinball. And yeah, like going back to the home, stuff like that. You can navigate it with the arrow. And it's super convenient because if you want to go into some of the games like Pinball Deluxe, you're going to need it. There is no other way of basically using this. Because you cannot use the buttons on the cabinet. So it's a pros and a con situation. So the remote, you're going to need it. There is no way around it. And like I mentioned a couple of times now, it's like this monitor looks amazing. Super colorful, good view angle. And I think like especially when you're playing this basic pinball game, that is so colorful. And that is why I think is very important. It's the overall experience. In my opinion, when you're looking at the, the normal version or the pro do you want to call it, this version is so much better with this monitor. But navigating through the menu works very good. You need to get used to the remote because it's very sensitive. Maybe you can change it out. But overall, like scrolling, it's just perfectly i tried a lot of different pinball games because not every single pinball game is compatible with the encoder board Zen pinball of course one of them i downloaded instantly like the first thing i downloaded in total i found four games that work perfectly and in my opinion if you're going to get some zen tables and some other ones you need to spend some money on it take that into consideration but these were the games that I liked the most. Pinball Arcade, Zen Pinball, Zachariah Pinball and Pinball Deluxe work all four of them very well on the GT King. So you got some better graphical options and some more games to play with this edition. But even if this device has some limitation when it comes to the software and think about like you cannot play every single app with the encoder board, you have so much stuff that you can play and I think it's worth it. But that's the question for yourself, do you think it's worth it? 
I love this Ultra Edition more than the previous one I've reviewed simply because the monitor is such a beautiful display and I had so much more better experience when playing some pinball games. Of course with more power we have better graphics and we have more games to play. Yeah let me know what you think of this, I want to thank you for watching, consider subscribing, hit that little bell, become on the record family and I will see you in the next video.